Hi there, Matthew Wigger from Shire Values here. Just to give you a bit of a rundown on how best to use real estate portals when you're looking to buy real estate. Now, there's a few major real estate portals out there that you probably know of, real estate, domain, real estate view, um, and then of course the, the major real estate agents websites and all the real estate agents websites themselves, or even if you're just filtering through Google. What I'm gonna be working with today is probably one of the biggest ones in Australia, which is realestate.com.au. Probably the most well-known one um, Australia-wide. Um, Sydney-based, you're probably using a 50-50 ratio of domain to realestate.com.au. So what, what we're gonna be looking at mainly today is this search area field here, okay? So you can see here there's a few different boxes, a few different ways to refine. It's very similar across um, the buy, rent, sold tab, um, as well as some of these other tabs when you're looking for new homes, land, stuff like that. So let's take a look at how best to search for a property. Now, if you're looking in the Sutherland Shire, I'd probably suggest that you look at the include surrounding suburbs box ticked. Reason being is if you're probably looking in one suburb, you, you're more than likely looking in another. Unless you're particularly looking for a specific area, um, I can see no reason not to leave that box ticked. So let me give you an example um, of what, what I would be searching for. So what the research shows us is that most people do refine their categories, um, but some people aren't. So I implore you to always put in a suburb, your main suburb you're looking in, okay? Now remember with this search field here, you can put in as many as you want. So you can put in Gaimi, Gaimi Bay, Sutherland, and Janelli. Now if they're the only suburbs you're looking in, of course you can untick including surrounding suburbs, but by all means in the Southern Shire there's no reason to, to untick that, okay? But I'm just looking, I just want a broad search in Gaimi. Okay, now the next thing you always need to, to refine is basically the property types you're looking for. There's no reason to be looking at, at, at blocks of units um, or, or villas or townhouses if that's not what you want. So I'm only new to the market, I, I, I'm looking for an apartment or unit. I'm looking any bit between two and three bedrooms, okay, I can't have one, I can't have four. And I would, I would always suggest to put in a price range. Don't worry too much about how broad you put in there. Just just somewhere around what you can spend. So I can spend anywhere between 450, which isn't going to get me much of a two bedroom unit at the moment, um, up to 650. And we'll, we'll filter that search. Now what you what you can see straight away is that your search results uh, have come up. Now there's a few different ways that real estate filters this. For example, you can see here, some of them have these, these large boxes. Um, some of them are just the small ones, but you can still filter through. And some of them don't even have the option to, to filter through the photos. It's basically a way, um, basically what your sub subscription to these websites is uh, through your agent. Now you can always talk to your agent about changing your subscription or, or where you want to be. One of the things I always suggest to everyone is make sure that you set your filter results to newest to oldest. That way you're going to be seeing the newest property always on top, regardless of where they sit. For example, let's go to most relevant. It's pretty much the same because we've filtered it down so much, but what you'd normally find is that uh, these larger ones would come to the top first. As you can see with the surrounding suburb search, that's exactly what's happening here. Okay. Now. When we click on the property to bring it up, again, you can see all the information here. What we find Gen Y do, is they click on the photos first. They just wanna see photos first, okay? That's all they wanna look at. And they'll make their decision based on that. But what I recommend to people is always scroll through and read the copy. Read what, what the agent has said and what the actual features are. If there's a floor plan or a virtual tour, by all means click on them and learn more about the property than, than just the photos. Don't ever dismiss a property based just on photos. Alright, so now we know how to basically do a, 
um, entry level search on realestate.com.au what I want to show you how to do now is to sign up now all the websites have a function where you can sign up and receive alerts for properties um, and you should probably be signing up to all of them because different agents subscribe to different um, portals and from there it basically means they may go to one portal and not the other so you need to be broadening your search and when you're looking for real estate you're going to be your, your email is going to be bombarded with emails from agents and real estate portals so just deal with it for the for the six or, or 12 months you're looking um, and researching and, and you can unsubscribe after that but by all means get as many emails as you can so let's go through and set up a search category so I'm looking in Gaimi just in Gaimi let's say I'm looking in Gaimi and Sutherland Okay, now remember in on real estate you can just choose Southern Shire if you're looking for a broad search if you're just doing real estate, but for this example we're just looking at going around Southern. I'm looking for an apartment. I want a minimum of two to three beds. My budget's five hundred to six hundred. We're gonna do that search there. Okay. Now, I've looked through all of these and no surprise, nothing takes my fancy. So, what I want to do now is, is I'm happy to wait. I'm not in a rush to buy anything, so I'm not going to go out and, and buy something for the sake of buying it. So, what I want to do is I want to save this search. So, you come up here, you press save this search, and we're going to name this search. So, what you'd call it is basically Gaimi and Sutherland Units and you alert me immediately so what that's going to do is now when a unit comes up that meets my criteria that's set here so in buy me or in Sutherland two to three bedrooms between 500 and 600 it's going to send me an email immediately okay now let's create an account because I don't have an account I've never set up an account before and we'll, we'll do that right now so I'll put in my email address and we'll set ourselves a password Okay, so we're set up now. Now, what real estate likes to do is just get a bit of information about you. Um, now, don't be scared to give them this information. They're not out to get you or anything. They just want to know where you are and, and, and where you sit amongst what you're looking for, basically. So you put in your information. I will not send my year of birth. Mail. Okay, we don't have to worry about all of this, but give them as much information as you want. Okay, continue. Now it's going to take us back here and we'll save that search again. Okay, so it's asked us to activate. Let's go through and see whether I've got that activation email yet. Okay, so I've just got that email through. So we'll quickly activate the account. Okay, which I've now done, and we'll save that search again. So there it is. Sutherland and Gaimi units immediately subscribe. Now that's really cool because what's going to happen now is I'm just going to get alerted. Now you can save as many searches as you want. So say I want to do that now, and I want to do the same thing for townhouses, up to 850, I can save that search, call that one townhouses, and I'll get that immediately as well, okay? Now what you can do once you've changed your mind or you need to update your criteria, you can just go into your saved searches, here they are here, and you can always just delete them. Okay, so what that's going to do is just remove them from your 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 email list. You can also change the notifications. So if you don't want the notifications, you can turn that off. It'll just turn off emails. So what that means is you can still come back into your your save searches and 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 click on it, and it'll still do the search through the website. But you're not going to get the alerts by email every day because if you've just bought a property in the area, you may still want to keep up to date with what's going on. Okay. So I hope I've given you a good insight into how to use the real estate portal to the best of your ability. 
if you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call or send me an email. Um, and remember to check out the Shire Values website. You can always read our latest edition online. Um, and it's a really great website. You can look at all the features. You can see all our articles online. And you can make comments, interact with us, join us on the Facebook. And don't forget, you can also log into our sales database so that you can see what's sold in your area. Um, and, and also find out how much your home is worth through our online tools. So remember, if you have any more questions, please give me a call. But thanks for watching my video. Have a great weekend.